Joe, you like to mention how much, uh, how damaging missed layups uh, can be. It seemed like a lot of the missed layups, a lot of misses at the rim tonight turned into transition opportunities for them. How much of that was a factor in what happened tonight? Uh, I think our lack of inefficient offense um, caused us to put a ton of pressure on our defense. And so they had 20 points in transition, which were the number one transition defensive team. But uh, inefficient offense, there was a missed shot, missed layup, turnover. Um, I thought our bad offense impacted our defense. And so, um, you know, we had a, didn't get a 25-point quarter, but we had a 26-point quarter in the first. And uh, we were defending pretty well in the half court. But just uh, our inefficient offense just continued to put pressure on our defense. And then, you know, by that time, uh, our defense waned. So I thought uh, the Clippers played a well-balanced, you know, game throughout. Yeah, it seemed like the defense was kind of good to start. Yeah. Then you started giving up second chances, and yes. then you just kind of stopped playing yes, defense. Was exactly. that a result of – is that just one of those games where the misses, you turn into frustration on the other end? I mean, I don't think frustration. I think more like lack of – I don't know, whatever the case may be. But you're essentially right. It's kind of how the game went. Uh, uh, Half-court defense in the first quarter was really good. Gave up, uh, I think, a three to coffee, a three to man. Um, but our inefficient offense uh, put pressure on our defense, put pressure on our defense, and then our defense kind of cracked. And um, I thought that's kind of how the game went. And so what went into the inefficient offense? Uh, missed shots, missed layups. I thought they did a good job of um, messing up the timing of every one of our passes with their uh, active hands. And so uh, what looked like a guy open, we missed it a half a second because of their uh, activity and their active hands. And it kind of messed up the timing and rhythm of our offense, um, you know, which especially when we got into the paint. Uh, but yeah, I just, you know, thought we missed, we missed shots and I thought they forced us to, to execute and they, they played well. You, you expected the switching, Joe. Um, obviously, Chris Stapps being out impacts your ability to attack that. But what are you ten and two without Chris Stapps this year? What, what were some things you were able to do in other games against switching that you weren't able to do here? Um, make shots. I think that helps. I would say, um, regardless of what kind of shot it is. And so, like I said, I think uh, one of the strengths of this team is at, at moments of inefficient offense, we still um, had really good defense, and some of that defense would get us back into it. Uh, creating some transition opportunities tonight, not so much, you know. So uh, against teams like that, you just you have to continue to fight for uh, possessions of speed, possessions of uh, creating separation, and um, at some point you got to make shots. So it's a, a layup, three, pull up. Um, it's got to be more efficient on the offensive end. But I think their defense, you know, in, you know their their activity uh, impacted that for sure. Yeah, was, were they doubling? Like, what kind of disrupted some of the passes? Oh, well, their big was up, and they did a good job of shrinking the floor. And, you know, like you said, there's two guys open, but uh, the timing of the pass didn't get there in time, and then they were able to uh, recover back to keep it five on five. Uh, so they quickly got back to five on five situations. Uh, and then they did double, which, um, you know, kind of forced us into rotations. But, I mean, let's be honest, I thought, the third quarter, we got our butts kicked. In the first half, I thought we got really good looks, and uh, we didn't make them, and that kind of put pressure on our defense. When your offense is in a rhythm or you guys are hitting your threes, you always have... And layups. Yeah, that helps, too. Let's not forget. Uh, you, you can go to cross-match hunting. Like you have the two-man yeah, yeah. actions, all that. So you know, Paul George especially, his defense was great in those yeah. last few quarters. So when that isn't working, what are you trying to tell them about like what you can look for? Well, I mean, it just depends, right? Like, if you're not going to make open shots against a good defensive team, then you're not going to make score. I think that's, that's why the Clippers are also one of the – they're like they're very similar. Like, we're very similar teams. They have uh, switchable wings. they got physicality. They don't have a clear uh, matchup that you can attack to create two-on-ones. And so it's two very similar teams. That's kind of why, you know, we what they did to us tonight, we did to them a month ago, you know. So um, against teams like that, you have to – do a great job of uh, getting stops, getting out in transition. You got to make open shots, and then you got to fight for space and separation. Um, but you got to continue to do it over and over again. You know, the transition defense usually like the first guy back is backpedaling, mm -hmm. and usually is able to keep everything in front of him. But tonight they were moving so fast that usually that guy was getting turned around. So, well, you got to remember, transition defense is not it's its own entity. So it's a byproduct of uh, other things, right? And so the three things that led to transition tonight were missed layups, um, deflected passes that messed up the timing of our offense, and uh, the angle of our crashing. Uh, I think there was a few times where uh, we crashed baseline side instead of towards the middle of the floor where we got guys behind the line of the basketball. And uh, our bad offensive rebound and spacing led to that. So, like, you know, transition defense is a you know, byproduct of those three things in tonight's game. You know? Final couple questions, Chelsea. 
against the Heat, you guys shot a season high from the field. What, how would you explain the extreme di difference from today and the, a couple games ago? And then also, how do you make sure that this game doesn't like linger on um, and move on from it? Yeah, uh, well, the first question, I have no idea. Um, second question, you know, you just, the character of your team. I think, like I said, it's more about balance, right? And so to me, there's no coincidence that uh, the two ex extremes happened one after another. And I think those can be gifts when you look at them properly and uh, keep you balanced and keep you humble and uh, just keep you in check, right? You know, you're never as good as you think you are. You're never as bad as you think you are. And I think it's important. Um, and, you know, we always talk about, like, uh, adversity. Um, but it's over adversity is always looked at as a... Uh, like something negative happens to you. But like to me, one of the hardest things to do is like win consistently, right, all the time and handle success. And uh, that's just as hard as handling losing is being able to handle success, right? So uh, I think regardless, you just uh, you focus on the character of your team. And, uh, you know, our guys will be – they'll bounce back. You, you um, obviously have had some tough shooting nets every now and then, but generally the offensive rebounding and second chance points have kind of – helped you out in those situations. I don't think you had a second chance point until like late in the third quarter. Yeah. Uh, in this one, you, you alluded to angles. Poor on crashing, crashing angles. Yeah. yeah. What, what yeah. kind of were you seeing there? And what Poor crashing angles. Um, that's when you don't get the crashing angle, you don't get the, you know, you don't, you don't get the rebound and you don't get, make it five on five. And so you have two guys behind the level of the ball instead of being in front of it. And that kind of gets them out into advantageous situations. Thank you. All right. Thank you.